I'm so glad and relieved to, to not have to have and keep in place a personal identity with lots of different stories to it, but that I can just completely relax in each moment and let everything about my thoughts and emotions and sensations just be exactly as it is. And to relax in a nasty space in which all of these <coughs> thoughts and emotions and experiences come and self-release. And this, this vast, relaxed expanse we call open intelligence. And like you heard in the video, just to introduce ourselves to open intelligence, we simply stop thinking for a moment. So we just for a moment, we just stop the thoughts. Just to recognize what's there always, always when we're thinking and always when we're not thinking. There's just a relaxed, powerful knowing, your power to know, just that power to know the next thought, the next emotion, the next sensation whether it's a pleasant one or wh whether it's a painful one, that power to know is always, is always there at the basis of your experience. And this is what we come back to for short moments many times. Just this relaxed ease. Just for short moments. Not a long contrived moment where we really try to, try to find a new identity of relaxation and ease and stability. But just to relax. Just a moment, just a short moment of complete relaxation, no matter what is going on in the mind. And then it can never be contrived, it can never be a new belief <laughs> system, because it's just that short moment of tapping into that innate power and stability and ease. So all of the thoughts about our identity, we can just let completely be as it is. All of these thoughts, we don't have to avoid them either. They're, all of the thoughts are completely inseparable from open intelligence. So all the thoughts that we have about ourselves, about our past, about our future, about what's going on in the present, about what we want and need and don't want, just all of that, we can just let it be as it is. There's nothing we need to avoid in that either. But we don't have to hold on to it. We don't have to make a story out of anything that's going on in our mind. Things that seem so real that have to do with our personal identity, with our self. We can just let them be as they are. All thoughts and emotions self-release. Inevitably, we can't hold on to anything. So there's nothing at all to do with the data streams, with the thoughts and emotions. In the training, we just call all the thoughts and emotions data streams just as a simple term to name all of the, <coughs> all the content in the mind. And then with that freedom that comes with just letting everything be as it is, we can just do exactly what we want to do in life. When we're not occupied anymore with the constant <coughs> description project and naming project and rearranging project and before this training, I felt like I needed to put like a sign on me, like under construction. <laughs> 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 like, I just have to be back after a few years. I just need some time now to change everything, and <laughs> then I'll come back. And in one way, I felt like that. Like coming to the training, I I knew I fo I had found exactly what I wanted to find. And uh, this, this is where I wanted to be for the rest of my life. So then I kind of, everything was so intense, I kind of wanted another <coughs> mainstay where I could train up, get a great personal identity and then come back here to you and meet you again. So you wouldn't have to see all the things that I didn't like about myself. I would have had time to change that first and then I could come back and see you again. But it's so great to not have to not have to do these things anymore, not have to keep on that improvement project about ourselves, but just to see that we're perfect as we are, that we're just innately perfect and ready to be of benefit, that all these ideas are completely outdated about what we need to do to change ourselves to be able to be of benefit. <coughs> and I, I think I feel in one way kind of lucky that um, 
it's not that I never become, I, I usually don't, I'm, I usually am always nervous before an open meeting, but I'm very okay with it. Like I don't really care about it. But that's not because I'm not so nervous. It's more that I'm always nervous. <laughs> so I'm very used to that data stream. <laughs> I can get nervous going to the store. Should I get this or that? Really nervous, physically, intensely, like my heart's beating. Should I get this or that chocolate? And then the regret afterwards. Or <laughs> <laughs> should have gotten more chocolate. Should have gotten less chocolate. It can really, I, I can really make myself nervous over anything. Anything, anything, <laughs> anything. <laughs> like really weird things. Can really make nervous. But then it's good. It's like, great. I can really see that it's, it's, it can't, com it can't, um, it can't um, stop me from doing anything, because if I would really, you know, stop just because of nervousness or physical sensations in the body, then I wouldn't be able to do anything. So it's 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 great when these thoughts and emotions do come up, and then we can see that we just empower ourselves to do exactly what we don't want to do anyway. And if the physical sensations really start going, then we just let that be as well. There's nothing, all of these thoughts and emotions are like that line drawn in water. It will self-release, just like any other data stream, any other, other thought or any other sensation. So we don't have to worry specifically about some ones, but so, some things we really feel like, this is not right, there's no stability here. But it doesn't matter, it just takes short, short moments of open intelligence to really see that the stability is there as well. And I usually uh, don't have many nightmares, but I can experience, I'm usually quite peaceful at, at night, but <laughs> during the day things can feel like a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so, just regardless of what time of day these intense images appear. It's just great to just let them be as they are. And just have the trust that everything self-releases naturally, like a line drawn in water. Or like a, l like a design drawn in space. It can be a beautiful design or it can be a, a horrible design. But there is nothing that leaves a trace. And there's nothing that leaves a trace in our, in our open intelligence, in that power to know. And sometimes our minds seem to really, for a long time, be really good at convincing us that, but I think there is something wrong. And as soon as something self-releases, the next thing is up. You know, like, how about this one? I don't think this is okay. I don't, but this one, but this one, this, 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 it's just all over the place. But for me, I find that that's kind of the best place because it's just like, it's just too much and you just have to relax. <laughs> <laughs> just like, wow, there are really things everywhere that I could describe as a problem. I could really, really, just my choice if I want to do that or not. <coughs> like from the tiniest thing to like <coughs> things that really seem like this is really d a problem or difficult. It's still going to be my choice if I describe it like that or not, or if I just empower myself to use the four mainstays and let it be as it is. And then in that, we're just we just see in our in our own direct experience that we're power born, and that it's not a new new identity or new concept to learn or we just see it and we can explore it completely on in, our, in our own experience with the support of the Four Mainstays and just really enjoy that adventure and that journey and give ourselves that. And it, it does take just completely connecting with everything, connecting with disconnection and connecting, I mean we're so connected in that thought that I, I don't feel like I'm connecting with anyone. <laughs> There's such connection there because <laughs> everybody feels like that. 
I mean, p two people can probably stand next to each other and feel like, oh, I wish I could connect to that person. Or and the other person <laughs> thinks the same, and it's like, they're completely connected in that. <laughs> it's like, it's so beautiful how we sometimes, we just want, want it so much that we just describe it so much that we don't see that it's already there. So then we just, yeah, we just relax again. 